Hi, today I'm going to go over the first steps of using Adobe Illustrator in vectoring your calligraphy work. In the previous tutorial, we've gone over scanning and cleaning up our image using Adobe Photoshop. And so, open up Adobe Illustrator and we're going to create a new file. We're going to go to File, New, or Control M. And for my work, I'm going to make it into an A2 letter note card size. So that's five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. And all the other settings I'm gonna leave as is, and I'm gonna click okay. And I'm gonna go back to file, and I'm gonna place what we cleaned up last time. And we, I saved it as a Photoshop file. You might have saved it as something else. And I'm gonna place it into this artboard here. And now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do image trace. Image trace is the first step into vectoring your calligraphy work. Uh, I have my image trace panel open. Yours might not be, so you can find it at window and click on image trace so that the panel comes up. It looks like this. And you click on preview. And I'm going to zoom in to see, and you might have noticed that it just changed. I'm going to zoom in just so that when I change the settings, I can see what's going on. So remember, zooming in is control addition sign or command addition sign if you're on a Mac. Um, so the things that I'm going to do is make sure that my mode is in black and white. Um, and then we're going to just play around with these settings. So for threshold, um, if it's really high, the hairlines, oop, that's too much. If it's too high, the hairlines are really thick. And if it's too low, it's really spotchy like here. So I kind of like it somewhere in the middle. So let's try that. Um, so you just play around until you kind of find some settings that works for you and what style you're looking for. If you really want that smooth look or kind of want that still handwritten look. For paths, uh, I usually like it somewhere in the middle as well. Uh, some people prefer to be really high, so it kind of gets more of that written look with that edgy look that you get with calligraphy when it's handwritten. I like mine a little bit smoother. It depends on what you're going for. For corners, the less means the smoother your calligraphy will be. So let's see. You can get it smoother. For noise, the less noise, I don't know noise. Usually keep it as the setting. Okay, so I see that I have a lot of work to do to kind of clean things up and make it a little bit smoother, but I'll show you how to do that in our next tutorial. Uh, make sure that for options you have the ignore white button clicked. And it's going to just ignore all the other white stuff that's going on. And so then we're going to click on the expand button up here. Once you click it, you'll notice that these little boxes show up on the edges of your calligraphy work. That is all the anchor points. As if you hover over it, it'll say anchor. These are anchor points. And that's what we're going to work with in our next tutorial on um, just changing anything that you don't like, uh, making it smoother. Um, or fixing things up. Um, but before we end today's tutorial, I want to go over something that really frustrated me when I was first starting Adobe Illustrator. So right now, um, you might not think about wanting to change the color of um, your lettering, but you might want to later on. So in order to do so and to do it without any frustration. Uh, you want to go to select, or no, sorry, you want to go to object. You want to go to object and click on ungroup or shift control G. So click on that. So if I go back, I can't do it again because I've already ungrouped it. Uh, so I'm going to ungroup the file. Um, you notice that all my anchor points have disappeared. It's okay if I just drag and create a box around it, it shows up again. Um, and then 
You want your swatches panel to be open. If your swatches panel is not open, go to Window, click on Swatches. And make sure over here on your left that the fill box is on top. So right now the stroke box is on top, but we want the fill button. So click, make sure that's on top, and we're going to fill this whole thing black. Uh, what happens now is we want to delete some of our anchor points or the box that was created. We're going to delete that. In order to do so, we're going to go to our anchor pen tool and we're going to click on the delete anchor point tool. Or you can click on minus sign on your keyboard. Okay, and so you just notice these anchor boxes. We're going to click on it and I'll delete it. Delete. Delete, 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 delete. Oops, please use, that's because I didn't click on the anchor point. I clicked on an edge instead. So delete, delete. So the box is all gone. And you'll notice that you, there's these things right here that are all filled in that we don't want filled in um, because when you want to change the color of your lettering, you don't want those filled. So we're going to click on this, click delete on the keyboard, and you'll notice that it didn't delete, but if I drag this over here, for some reason it makes two copies, I don't know why. Um, so I usually just drag it over and just delete this whole box. I'm going to click on the delete button on my keyboard that whole thing's gone. And now I'm going to delete this. Click on this and delete that. Click on that, delete, delete. And now what happens now is if I click on this whole word, I can change it to any color that I want without worrying about all these filled in little spaces right here later on. And that was such a nightmare for me because I would clean up all my work and I could not fill in my lettering the way that I wanted to because I don't know what I did to um, my lettering, but it just was such a nightmare trying to figure it out. So doing it first really saved me, and so hopefully it'll save you too. And I'm just going to keep that black because it's easier to work with later on. Um, but that's it for today, and next time we're going to go over using the pen tool, and the pencil tool and the smooth tool and to fix up our calligraphy. Okay, see you next time.